Oh boy. Yo dudes, Made in Abyss Season 2 Episode 9 starts now. So now we know that Iruma Yui is the village. Her deceased babies and the babies that she would have had in the future are the balancing itself. Fapta is her only living child and Fapta and Reg apparently made a promise which more than likely is to eliminate the village because we know that's Fapta's goal. Meanwhile Reg has a piece of Fapta, her arm, and he's more than likely bringing it to the village. So just how is this all going to play out? It's been a hell of a dark and twisted ride so far but that's made in the abyss for you and I cannot wait to see how season two is going to conclude but hey check it out if you enjoy uncut reactions and you want to get some exclusive content that you can't find here on the channel then check out my patreon the link is down below so let's jump into it there's reg <laughs> with fakta up on his head it's also hard to cheer for anybody, right? Like, do you want her to eliminate the village? Do you want the village to succeed, you know? Very gray area here in the abyss. <laughs> yeah, I think it's your whole arm, dude. The bone and all, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how convenient, dude. <laughs> you guys are friends, man. Apparently, you made a promise as well. One of the interference units? Yeah. We still can't understand it. Oh, wow. Gubaru, that's the name of her interference unit? Hmm. Alright, so the freshness of her arm is important, which kind of goes back to her babe, uh, Irumi's babies being fed to the villagers, the freshness being also important. That's an arm, Rico. That's a hollow arm. Yup. She don't look too happy, dude. Remember, Rico knows the true story now. Reg does not. Bruh. Ah. You look very nice now, Prishka, yeah. Very interesting how she was focusing on Prishka, right? The white whistle that Rico has and how she looks pretty now. Because we know that they're essentially the souls of a person, right? And that white crystal around it almost inhibits the soul, it feels like. Because we saw when Rico used it, she was able to use Prishka, right? Once it was uh, refined. I really want to learn more about the white whistles. Mmm. Here comes Fapta's siblings, dude. What's that mean? Okay. Well, we saw how he was acting when he had to eat the babies, dude. Yeah. What's that promise, Reg? So he knows the promise, bro. I wonder if that's why she also asked if he's worried. Which is the village. Bruh, she's nomming on him. <laughs> he biting his ass. What's this whole... Yeah, I know about the incinerator, but like... Okay. Anachi did say that, but like... Did it mean ex literally rewrite laws and rules? Oh, okay. They'll be able to rip through so she can get in. And, of course, he sees her, finally. <laughs> it's actually underwear. <laughs> right? The divinely possessed did some messed up shit. Hmm. It'd be a problem if Reg destroyed it with Fopter, right? They were cave raiders at one point. She did the same thing. Yes, we know him, dude. I mean, that takes some bravery, dude. Where the darkness lies, that darkness and warmth, dude. And that's apparently how the cave raiders ride, man. They get this calling from the abyss, right? We also don't know what he wished for with the third egg. Was that his wish? Okay. Oh. 
150 years since the village's creation. Okay. So even though if they have a longing to want to go adventure, they can't because they're trapped. Right, people, the younger people. Rico's young, dude. But what's gonna happen to Rico if she does that, dude? Hmm. <laughs> That's just like Brondrude, bro. Brondrude and him are very, very complex characters, dude. Right, at least he's not forcing them, right? Oh, is it one of the beasts coming? Is it that... Attracted to him by the blood, right? Oh, was it this one? Wasn't that one of its new sages? Or is it something else? And what's with the drawings around it? <laughs> what the hell? Jeroyamo? Great. Wonderful, dude. Ma... Ma! <laughs> the balancing. So he was bringing her to safety, huh? Oh, that's that guy. Okay. So that is the one that said he was the three sa one of the three sages. He pulled out that big sword or whatever, right? I don't know if we got his name back then or not. It's the same name as the person who took in Waco and was abusing her. I didn't put two and two together if we got that name before. I'm not sure if we actually got the name drop before or not. But I believe this is the one that protected the village during the luring. Okay. So... I guess he feels like Fopta's piece is a threat, right? It is part of her after all. More of a part of the village. That's crazy, dude. The will of the village? Okay. Reg has to fight this thing, dude? Oh! It can shoot balancing balls? That's disgusting. My man's just throwing up everywhere. Oh. Okay. Fill him in. Right. He's protecting the village. Oh. Use the white whistle, Rico. Doesn't that power rag up? It made him change like into a different form before. Nah, dude, all this for this fucking thing to gr Incinerator time. That's what I'm saying. It's it's like what what side do you choose, dude? You know what I mean? Does Reg keep the village safe with on, on and be with v and choose Rico's point of view, or does he help Fopta? You know, oh, it's time, bro. It's time to light this thing up. Let's go, dude. Let's go, bro. Looking so clean, dude. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Has the power to rewrite the rules, to rewrite laws, bro. Now, this thing is literally the will of the village. Is that going to be enough to stop it? Does that... Yeah, Fopted should be able to get in now. Yeah. You're going to go on a rampage, bro. That's right. He faints after using the incinerator. Yeah. <laughs> Akaja Ma. And I forget the barkeeper's name. Oh, it's time, bro. There she is. Yo, they're gonna have the music kick in too? Oh, this is crazy. Judgment day has come, dude. It's time to rescue mother. Oh, her interference unit. <laughs> 
This one's like, like praying to her. She's about to eliminate all of them. Damn, bro. She's directing, bro. Oh my, and, and Reg's about to pass out, dude. But would Reg even be able to stop her and her interfere? Oh, tell an interference unit not to interfere, bro. She's immortal, dude. Ain't gonna do anything. I mean, yeah, it's her siblings. She just neutralized the balancing, bro. Turn it from black to white. <laughs> you shouldn't be happy, buddy. None of y'all should be happy. You should be terrified. She just said she's gonna eradicate all of you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, we don't get to see the massacre? Nah, we're gonna focus on the Nachi. Who's singing this, huh? Hmm, that wasn't a dream. Oh wait, what? Why, why is she seeing? So somehow she saw the Ganja group's dream, like their memories. Is that because of her connection to Biloth now? So Nanachi experienced all this, just like Rico and then were told the story by Voiko. The cave is open. That wasn't open before, right? The time to awake? What? What? Wait, what? What is gonna happen? Why was Nanachi having a dream that resembled the Ganja group's memories? Was she one of the original Ganja group and somehow she wasn't with them this whole 150 years? No, because we saw her past. We saw her past with Midi. We saw how she, be she became a part of Bronjude's experiments. So I guess Bailoff is just saying like, it's no longer a dream. The time has come to awaken, meaning like their dreams, right? And I guess somehow Nanachi was able to see their memories, but also relate to them because it sort of reminded her of her and the other cave raiders because they were like the first cave raiders after all. Crazy, bro. It's just one thing after another. We get these revelations, we get these reveals, and then we get another cliffhanger. It almost feels like this is all part of plan. We know that Waka Zeon, whatever his name is, divinely possessed. He ends up getting premonitions, right? And now Bilof saying it's no longer a dream, it's time to awaken now. Almost like the premonitions are coming true or, true or something, right? Maybe this is the goal it's to basically have fop to eliminate them or maybe fop to getting inside is the next part of the journey maybe like what is going to happen what's the implications of Bilof saying it's time to awaken now the dream is no longer a dream essentially like what the hell is going to happen next dude made in abyss is absolutely incredible i love the storytelling it's just so on point it's so top tier the world building the storytelling the character interactions reg being in a situation where he had to choose does he help Help Rico or does he help Fopta? What does he do in that moment? If he wouldn't have attacked the will of the village, he would have been eliminated, right? So in turn, he ended up helping Fopta. Fopta's in there now to eradicate all of them. Bilof's making his move apparently. Where is this gonna go, man? Fopta is now inside the village. She's going on her rampage to eradicate all of the villagers to free her mother and her siblings. Such a twisted family reunion, right? Irumi Yui, the mother obviously, and then Fopta and her siblings all being reunited. And now she wants to save her mother. But I would love to hear your favorite moment from the episode in the comments below. Remember to smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more like it, then check out the two videos right here on your screen. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon for another video.